the liberty of your countries, the freedom from the use of bigger and mightier countries of brute power in order to force themselves on what is national territory, national sovereignty, and the rights of our future generations. Magandang araw mga ka-Aerial Defense may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan, Pilipinas hinamon ang China na ipakita ang sensiridad nito, pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Dapat ipakita ng China ang sinseridad nito bago magkaroon ng mabungang bilateral talks ang Pilipinas at China sa bansa para sa West Philippine Sea, ayon kay Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. That is not my fault. The whether or not there are bilaterals are the fault of the President and the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. What I'm saying is, if there's going to be a, in my opinion, my personal opinion, there are going to be bilateral discussions, it must be based on fundamental principles and it must be based on sincerity that it shall not be used merely as a weapon in order to constrain the Philippines. Binigyang diin din ito ni Teodoro noong lunes habang nagbabala siya na ang bilateral talk ay maaaring gamitin ng China bilang isang kasangkapan lamang upang pigilan pa nito ang Pilipinas, iginiit ng China ang soberanya sa halos buong South China Sea, kabilang ang karamihan sa kanlurang bahagi ng exclusive economic zone ng Pilipinas na nagdudulot ng tensyon sa pagitan ng dalawang bansa, gayon paman, ang isang internasyonal na tribunal na desisyon noong 2016, ay epektibong ibinasura ang malawakang pag-aangkin ng China, subalit ayaw ito sundin ng China. Sinabi naman ni Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro na ang paglipat ng mga depensa ng bansa mula sa internal defense patungo sa external defense dahil sa mga banta ay mga ngailangan ng batas. However, our formal transition needs to be legislated because uh, Republic Act 8551 Uh, states that internal security the primary is the primary responsibility of the armed forces of the Philippines so our legislators will have to participate in the process uh, perhaps uh, and I think during our last Senate budget hearing uh, they're going to study it already and uh, we will work together with them to uh, have an orderly and sustainable transition Also in keeping with the capability of the PNP to take up the uh, transition uh, requirements no, for internal security. So may timeline na Wala. We, we cannot set a timeline for that. It's very dangerous to set a timeline because uh, it will be unsustainable. It will be haphazardly done. So is there a catalyst to this, um, yung, this transition to the external defense? Oh, definitely. Because uh, obviously, we have an external uh, actor who is acting irresponsibly and aggressively in the West Philippine Sea. And it's high time because of the world conditions that uh, the vol volatility of geopolitical security, not only in the ASEAN theater, in our own uh, environs, but in the world, necessitates a defense establishment that is threat agnostic but also geared towards uh, addressing our vulnerabilities to external threats and the fusion of external and internal threats too. That's why it's not merely transitioning of the defense establishment to external, the armed forces, but also the synergy between the armed forces and the Philippine National Police the Coast Guard, and other law enforcement agencies. Sa pagdiin na ang rehiyon ay muling nahaharap sa parehong mga banta, si Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. noong Martes ay nagbabala sa mga veterano ng militar ng mga bansa sa Timog Silangang Asia laban sa mga ekspansyon na hakbang ng mas malaki at mas makapangyarihang mga bansa. We are beset in this country by the force of greater powers seeking to expand their reach and influence into our national sovereignty and territory. And thus, the Philippines struggles once again in accordance with international law, 
the generally accepted principles of law, political and moral foundational precepts in order to secure not ours, but our future generations, prosperity, peace, and freedom. Thus, we also seek the understanding and support of our ASEAN brethren, particularly those who have sacrificed their lives, their blood, and their individual futures for a greater good. The liberty of your countries, the freedom from the use of bigger and mightier countries of brute power in order to force themselves on what is national territory, national sovereignty, and the rights of our future generations. We are facing the same threats again in a different guise. Different actors once again threaten our individual securities and if one member of ASEAN security is threatened, then collectively we open the door for further expansionism by others who we do not want. As a colleague in the ADMM said, and I will not name him, then he was asked, what is your problem? What is your greatest threat? When you wake up the next day and you have a neighbor that you do not expect to be your neighbor. That is what will happen if we do not collectively stand up for our rights pursuant to the rules-based international order. And why am I telling you this? Because if we disregard the signs of the times and we fail to act collectively and you fail to exercise your influence on your current leadership in order to act as one, then your individual struggles may have been for naught, which we do not want to see. Then again, you use our examples too of your individual struggles not to repeat the mistakes that our leaders made in the past. Ginawa ni Teodoro ang pahayag sa harap ng 160 delegado ng Veterans Confederation of ASEAN Countries sa pagbubukas ng conference na ginanap sa Pasay City, hinikayat din ng pinakamataas na opisyal ng DND ang mga veterano ng militar na maging mapagbantay laban sa paggamit ng mas malaki at mas makapangyarihang mga bansa ng puwersa, upang ipilit ang kanilang sarili sa pambansang teritoryo, pambansang soberanya at ang mga karapatan ng inyong mga susunod na henerasyon. Katulad na lamang ng ginagawa ng China sa Pilipinas, hinimok din ng pinakamataas na opisyal ng depensa ang mga beteranong kinatawa ng ASEAN na pakinggan ang Sign of the Times na hinihimok silang matuto mula sa mga nakaraang pagkakamali ng mga lider ng Pilipinas. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.